This is a video trip report for cataracting the Wind River at 5.8 feet. This is just something that's fun for me to share kind of like my lines or I like to do. Hopefully you find it useful. If you just want to watch it, feel free to press mute. Uh, this section of the wind, we're, we're just showing the video from uh, initiation down to climax, the hardest rapids on the upper wind. And this initiation, the first rapid, the first rapid of consequence. And, you know, capboating it, we usually try to go between these two rocks, which is a technical little line. You just have to ship your oars, and it kind of sends you in this little bit of a mess here. Just kind of hold on through. That's the entrance. You know, if everybody's solid, you can keep coming through. Sometimes I'll eddy out below here just to run some safety like those kayakers are, or I'll keep going. At lower flows, I'll go right where the kayakers are going. At higher flows, there's a pretty straightforward over here. So, sorry, it's a pretty straight line over here on the left that takes you to this hole, but it's, it's a little easier to go left right there. And there's a few lines down here. I like to go left. You can do different choices right here. You have to pretty aggressively get to the left to miss these holes. And once I pass them, I like to get pretty hard right to miss some sort of nasty stuff at the bottom. I've seen people go every way possible here. I just like getting back right at the bottom. So that's initiation. It's a fun rap, but it's a good warm up. It's a warm up, and also if it's your first time, it lets you know whether you have the technical skills to really succeed. It's a, it, it basically lets you know early how you're doing. So here I hit up on this rock. What I'll do a lot of times here on the wind, not on the hard rapids, because in the hard rapids I want to be safe and I want to provide safety and set a good example. But in between in the easier runs, I'm going to play around a lot. I'm going to hit rocks on purpose and just get comfort. And something I would really encourage you to do if there's a run you're comfort on, comfortable on is to go into some holes, surf, hit rocks, just get a feel for your boat. So when it happens, you're very comfortable with it. So this is what some people call grandma's. It's a pretty straightforward uh, rapid. Uh, it just takes with an oar boat, some oar management down here because you generally go right. There's a right wall that kind of hits some hits your oars. There's some rocks here. So there's some careful oar management here, especially at lower water. And then the bottom part of this rapid at some flows has holes that can flip a raft or a cataract. So I just, you know, be careful to hit things straight with a little bit of a momentum to power through. When I'm running with a new group or people that are, you know, a little, little unsure, we'll eddy out here on the left. The next big rapid is called Ram's Horn. It's the biggest rapid on the run. And so I'll eddy out there a lot, but this is a pretty solid group. People generally know where they're going. So I'm just checking in with them real quick and everybody's good. So we're just going to keep plowing through. And this is a cool rapid. It's a multi-tiered rapid. There's a bunch of just back-to-back -back drops that get progressively harder as you head down. And, you know, there's a lot of different lines. You're going to hit this rock just to kind of play, just to get a feel for it, which I normally wouldn't do heading into a rapid, but I felt comfortable like I wouldn't flip off it and also that the people behind me wouldn't follow. It was pretty obvious what I was doing. Uh, but what I was saying is there's a lot of different ways to go down this rapid. You'll see my friends in the rapid ahead will take some routes. I'll take different routes. Almost all the routes are go. They're just more difficult. And there's a couple that are, you know, a little sketchy. But you can kind of go almost anywhere. There's just, again, some spots that are just a little bit easier or a little bit more straightforward. And notice, like, I look back. That's I think that's important for all boaters, like, to make sure that when you have when you have time in your boat and you're comfortable, look back on checking people. Like right now, I wouldn't necessarily do it because I'm running in this section, but I just did it right there. I feel like looking back is really important. Now the raft went left, which is faster than what I'm doing, and I'm doing more a move that requires more pulling. So I have a lot of space now. I'm creating a lot of space between them. So if I was to swim, they wouldn't be there for me. But I'm choosing it because I like the line that I'm choosing to take. And and it's just a little bit different. Again, it's slower. And now, again, my safety is pretty far down. And that's kind of in the back of my head. So the crux here is this bottom section. There's, uh, you can see the raft going left. I really like that left line. You're going to see me take it. There's a kayaker going right. Where that kayaker was going, there's a pretty good hole that could flip you or surf you. So for me, the conservative line is to catch this eddy over here on the left. And there's kayakers in the eddy, so we can't really pull over here much. So I'm gonna kind of just pull over and head down because there's not room for a bunch of a bunch of cat boats or other rafts. And this is key to me. Uh, you kind of go through this channel here, 
point the boat left. And after this little hole, just push left. That's the move I take. I feel like it's really conservative. It takes some skill, but if you don't do that, you go down the middle, which is sort of like a, you know, a gamble. You're going to maybe go into a hole. I've seen rafts flip in the middle there. I see kayakers struggle down the middle. You see Brody takes a nice left line. And you know, my, the goal of this is not to tell you what the lines are. Do this always. To just tell you what I'm thinking and the lines that I choose to take when I run the wind. There's Again, there's a lot of choices. I generally, in the harder rapids, will take really conservative lines because uh, I like being safe. I don't like to mess around too much. And as more boats come down, there's not eddy space for everybody. It's good to have boats right there, but I'm choosing to catch these little eddies right here so that I can still provide some safety. But we can't, if we're all in the eddy at the same time and somebody swims in, in ram's horn, you know, we can't all leave at the same time. Now, if there's a swimmer, there's immediate people to help. And then we're also ready to go downstream. I'm actually surfing a little bit here. This is a, you know, I'm surfing a little hole. There is an eddy, but this is where surfing comes in to be helpful. So once we feel like there's enough boats there for safety, people are heading down, you know, we're communicating and, and we're heading downstream. This next rapid, I don't really remember the name, but I just, I call it like Ram's Horn Runout, right? It's really fun. I have a line I really like taking over here because it's a little bit of a cataract booth. And as I'm headed down to it, I see there's a little stick there. You can, if you notice, there's like a, a root of a tree where I normally go. So I have to make a pretty aggressive move to the left here to not take my normal line. And then below here, this, you know, this is mostly read and run, you know, at higher flows, there's some big holes in here. So just be careful. There is a sieve on the left at the bottom. It's pretty easy to avoid. I don't know if anybody ever having a problem there, but in my head, I'm just like, watch out for holes and be careful of the sieve. So the sieve I mentioned is on the left right there below me. It's, it's not too bad, but it's a place you wouldn't want to swim. So it's something definitely to be aware of when you're running this rapid. And this is just a beautiful little canyon with these waterfalls coming in. I'm always like so stoked at this point because like we just had great lines through Ram's Horn and Initiation and, and there's still great rapids ahead, but it's just such a good feeling to have everybody have just solid lines up to here. The next rapid uh, down here is Balls to the Wall Right. Most rafts and kayaks are going to go down the right side. I have a middle line I like taking, and that's because if I go right, I can't really use my oars. You you're basically have a wall on your right side, so you can't use your right oar. I like being in control of my boat. So you can see the raft down there. That's the normal line for kayaks and rafts. There's this center line I really like, because, again, because I can control my boat as I go down. I'm not at the whim of something weird or only having my left oar to be used. So uh, it's this, this line is actually available to a lot of flows. You just have to go right past this rock on the left and do a really hard pull, kind of surf pull thing to get left and just go through this little hole. I really like this line. It's technically difficult. It's really interesting. And again, you have use of your oars. Brody does it magnificently. And you can see again the kayak are going down the right side. In the kayak, it's fine. You have your paddle, but with oars, it's harder to go that way. So past balls to the wall right is balls to the wall left. I take this really weird right line. It's just, again, it's a test for me. It's technically challenging. You see I popped an oar even. Like I, I, most people enter left. I really like this left, this right line, just because again, it's, it's different. It challenges me. Sometimes I get stuck, and, but you'll see everybody's kind of plopping down the main channel. I've always wanted to go explore, exploring further down the right, but I feel like I'm gonna get pinned and hold everybody up. So I rarely go keep going but now I have to also look back and see and find a place in line like I can't just pull out in front of a kayaker so I'm having to carefully time this so I can not you know jump in right in front of somebody and at lower flows there's been a really big hole right here uh, but right now it's washed out
This next rapid is called Morning Wood, and there used to be a piece of wood in there. So there's this center line we're gonna take. There was this really nasty piece of wood for a long time, and that's how it got its name. But that wood is gone right now, as of January 2nd, you know, 2021. But, you know, always be careful. Wood could get caught in here pretty easily. And there's multiple lines, which is nice. We used to have to basically go far left or far right. Far left required a big ferry to the left. Far right took you up against that rock on the right, which is kind of nasty. Because the wood was on this rock right in front of me. But now we get to do this really cool turn through here, which is really fun. And then right below here are some fun surf waves, like right there. Uh, there's a couple here that are pretty big that I skipped today because they were a little bit big and I really didn't feel like possibly swimming. And this takes us to Climax. Climax is the last big rapid coming up. Um, you know, sometimes I'll power through if people know the lines. You know, here this time I'm choosing to eddy out. There's a nice little eddy here. There's only room for like two or three rafts and a bunch of kayaks. So I'm super conscious of that knowing there's a bunch of kayaks below me coming at, or behind us we don't want to hold up this eddy space right we're going to be in here for a second I'm explain to Brody the line we're going to get out of the way so we can create eddy room for everybody coming down you know if we stay there kayaks can't eddy out and they'll be forced to run without scouting or getting beta so Brody and I get out of their way and allow them again to catch that eddy and now we're going to catch some eddies down here to provide safety for them. This is a place where we, I, I've seen a lot of swims, so I'm, I'm very careful. You know, boats can flip here, kayaks can flip here. Um, there's possibilities for surfing. So I definitely wanna be ready in case somebody has a problem. And again, I'm gonna wait until there's a lot of bo more boats come down. Like we're the first boats down. Once two, three, four kayaks come down and they can provide safety for the next kayaks, we'll move on, right? We don't need to wait here for everybody we need to wait here until there's enough safety for the people coming down. And you'll notice they're not eddying out, so I'm still providing safety. But again, once I see enough kayaks eddy out, I'm like, they got this, and then we're gonna get out of the way to create eddy space for others. And this is the last, last, last rapid. Uh, it's called Wet Spot. I've been trying this right line over here, which is just tricky, and I don't get as right as I want to, which forces me into this big hole. Telling Brody to try right. It's really a challenge to get over there. It's something I've been working on. So that's the upper wind at 5.8 feet. Those are the lines I like to take. Again, I'm not telling you how to run the river. I'm just giving you ideas and thoughts and kind of my thinking of what I do. Uh, please make, make your own judgment based on your skills. Look out for wood. Be careful. Uh, for me, though, I love the upper wind. It's a great place to practice, to, to, to get better, to challenge yourself. And it's just a beautiful place. And I suggest if you have the skills, definitely a place you want to check out.